The new showdown Jao Felix SBC is an absolute demon and I must get him into my club. However, I do not want to spend over 750k on him. So we're going to embark on a mission. Complete Jao Felix without spending a single penny and tell you how you can do it too. To start things off, we need to do a club check. I have a few high rated gold fodder and some specials I may have to use later down the line. Using what fodder I have to start with, it's best to get one of the high rated squads out the way and done with. So let's tick off an 88 rated squad. From that, we pack ourselves a nice Frankie de Jong, which is already a great start. Then to get the ball rolling, we have to do some club management. You need to make sure you complete the daily bronze upgrade SVC and the silver daily upgrade. This is going to give us lots of cards to recycle down the line. Then you rip open those rewards and take those bronze and silver cards into the gold upgrade. This way, we are going to get commons for more packs later on. Then you may even get lucky and pick up a team of the week just like we did here, which again will help with that Zhao Felix SBC. Now I need you to go ahead over to the 81 plus double upgrade and repeat as many as you possibly can. This is how we are going to generate loads of fodder to then put into the Zhao Felix SBC. You can see how many packs I have managed to get prepped and build and then we get to go ahead and rip them open. We are looking for 84s and higher ideally. Any sort of walkouts are an absolute bonus and you don't need to be too particular with those cards. They are just going to go through into Zhao Felix every single time. If, however, though, you do pick up any duplicates, we need to make sure we use them accordingly. Head on over to the 83 plus team of the week pick. The Zhao Felix SBC requires some team of the weeks. We don't want to spend a single penny. So we don't want to buy those team of the weeks. And this is where we can go and get them done. An 82 and an 83 rated squad is all you need for that. And you are going to be able to repeat this multiple times over if you have to. So once you've got that complete, we can then go ahead and pick up ourselves a team of the week. And we do that and we get ourselves a Paolo Dybala, which is a Brucey bonus. Then heading back into the 81 times twos, it's all about those juicy walkouts, picking up a nice delete, which will go in very handy. And sometimes you are just going to get 84s, which they can be super helpful as well. And then you may even strike the little bit of luck that we do here with a double walkout. It is the Ocean Man himself who says hello. And joining him, it's going to be Edison. 288 rated, an absolute huge pulse for us to go ahead and complete the Zhao Felix. And then while we're opening these as well, you may strike that little bit of luck and pick yourself up team of the weeks, which is what we get here with Cooper Miners, an 85 rated, a Brucey, Brucey bonus. Into more 81 times twos and an 85 rated daily, who by the way, can play striker and also left back, which I find very fascinating. And just to showcase how good these are, another huge pull. 88 rated Bernardo Silva helping us get a little bit closer to completing Jao Felix. So we get another squad ticked off. The FC Barcelona making that two squads out of nine and then heading over to top form where you need that team of the week and an 85 rated squad. You can see lots of the cards there that we have packed while doing these 81 times twos now we do head over to the 88 rated squad and use some of our big cards that we pulled and also one of the specials that we had lying around in the club just to help out we then go back and we rinse and repeat heading back into the 81 times twos and picking ourselves up again another juicy inform a reminder of what i said about duplicates we need to make sure that we are using them in anything that we possibly can so that's exactly what we go and do here we go ahead and complete the 83 plus player pick using those duplicates as best as we can to give ourselves a chance to just get into more fodder and bastoni will join in the 85 rated very very nice another 83 plus player pick just to try and get that little bit more of the high end unfortunately this time not as good with 
the 84 rated back in to some more packs while doing these and just playing games in general you will pick up some objectives which will give you some fantastic packs and rewards and an isco along with parejo a duplicate isco as well meaning i can go ahead and submit that into an 86 rated squad of Jao felix getting another one done already absolutely flying through what we have here another pack and another juicy bit of fodder an 85 rated bonu who will be used later down the line on to another pack now that we get and it's time for another massive massive pull antoine griezmann the 88 rated french striker and this is what you need and this is why menu content can work so well However, I did need a little bit more pack, so I decided to go ahead and complete my playoffs, getting ourselves that 10 and 0 and that rank 1 finish to get the best possible packs because I don't want to spend a single penny. We have not done that, and here we have our packs. We needed something good, we needed something juicy. Unfortunately, it isn't going to be huge. It is only going to be a Declan Rice in our first pack which still is a little bit helpful obviously putting in those gold cards as well into more of the upgrades as they come down the line following on to our next few packs from our champs towards the 83 rated Hala, a duplicate again so we're going to make sure that we use him and then resilient center defensive mid a casemiro would have been huge however it is going to be fabinho who still is juicy enough the 84 times two from objectives and Portugal centre mid and you guessed it for the second time Bernardo Silva makes his way into the club and he will be leaving very quickly as we move him on over to the Jao Felix SBC but very very helpful to continue our grind with this SBC back to the more 81 times twos now after completing our champs playoffs and getting lots more cards into the club we go back, we recycle, and we rinse and repeat, hoping to get some juicy fodder to then put them through into Jao Felix. Daly does indeed join us again. And German, centre mid, Tony Cruz. I've packed him so many times on FC24. We will say thank you very much to him, allowing us for more fodder. An 85 rated squad is going to be complete. You can see the cards there that we have been packing throughout this challenge we are getting closer and closer now we decide to go big we use some of the specials that we mentioned at the start of the video 87 rated squad complete and then we go all the way sending in our gold salad that we had lying around for ages lukaku coleman you name it it is gonna be a full send just to tick us over that line and to get Zhao felix done without spending a single penny and here he is as he walks out looking absolutely fantastic a card which i'm very excited to use and the fact that we've managed to do him without spending any coins is an absolute huge bonus to me we had to grind we had to use the upgrades that were available to us and some cards that we had lying around but either way it is an unbelievable card. And if he gets that upgrade as well, possibly one of the best players on the game. I decided to go with a Hawk chemistry style. We are going to be playing him in that center attacking mid role in a 4-2-3-1. And the question that I wanted to kind of know was, he worth it? He gets his first chance early on in the game. Unfortunately, just drags that one ever so wide. But a really good run. Picking the ball up as well. Some nice little footwork just to shimmy that one off and lay it into Werner. Good running as well. Manages to just kind of ride the challenge and goes through. And then picks up that free kick. So good center of gravity. Good agility and balance that we could see there. A great touch to beat the defender. And then the green time. Lovely little finish into that bottom corner. Showcasing his class. The fact that he's got the five-star skill moves. The four-star weak foot. And just stats throughout the whole way. This card from what we did so far is showcasing he is well worth picking up especially when we completed him for a total of zero coins.